Ah, oh, dang, bro. <sighs> this is sad, bro. <laughs> Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nick. And I'm Jacob. And today we're going to be reacting to another episode of Villain Saga. And last episode, man, was pretty intense. So we had a whole bunch of things happening. So first off, start to say we got like the whole like, you know, reasoning slash like feeling of um, Arnhide when it, when it came to like freeing him, um, freeing Garter. Obviously, right. it really did something to her emotionally. And now to see him fully injured and all that is also, like, disheartening to her. She wanted to maybe live with her child um, with him in, like, a peaceful place, but not realistic. So, you know. But Thorfinn, we could, we could still see he still got his warrior instincts in him because you could tell when somebody was watching him and he was like, hey, guys, let's act like, you know, we're chill. Let's act like nothing's going on. And um, so that was interesting to see as well that he still has his instincts that he has as a warrior um but yeah so you know uh with uh snake and his crew they were realizing like hey you know we're gonna set up a trap here so when he does come crawling for arnheim that will will we'll, you know in this case they're gonna kill him um but literally they know they were literally quite literally right under his nose um yeah. in the house under the bed um under the old master's uh bed so quite interesting actually um so, you know, in order to draw him out, Snake and his crew, they came up with a plan. In order to escape, they uh, had um, Einar like, just run, like, sprint. Um, because he looks like, he kind of looks like Garter. You know, we've said this a few times. He does look like Garter. So, he ran off into the, uh, um, almost into the forest. Because he had a decent way to run mm -hmm. um, in order to get into forest. So they start chasing after him, and now they start like tending, uh, uh, like tending to him, trying to like get him out of there. And then even old master was like, "Hey, take me with you, because they won't question if I'm with you." And then as soon as um, they were like in there, Snake was like, "Man, like if this dude is injured, how is he running this fast?" So he decided, "Hey, you guys keep going, keep your distance, um, but I'm gonna head back." Something, and then to himself, he's like, "Something's not right." So he said, "If this is if this is Garter, keep your distance." Um, and then he goes back, and so his assumption was right that that um, uh, uh, Garter was actually like still alive, and that he was, you know, back at the house, um, which was what he was suspecting. So now it's him, and in the way is Thorfinn, and Thorfinn's like, "Hey, you know, if you, if you want to get to him, you got to go through me, right?" So we see the whole like, like uh, um, whole like I guess. A ghost, I'm gonna call it, of Asklad, um, right next to him, and he's like, "Hey, are you really gonna let that like, that you know, take over your uh, not killing?" Um, but this is like somebody you're trying to protect, so it's valid, right? So I think what we kind of discuss is um, he's gonna take his like his dad's approach to it. He's gonna defend himself, yeah. So he might hurt him, but he's not gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. So um, he's just gonna protect his family and his friends, and um, to make sure that they can get out okay. Um, so yeah, this could be quite interesting. We're getting a 1v1 between Snake and Thorfinn. I remember when we first met him, like, man, that'd be cool to see a 1v1. Um, yeah. So now we're going to get it. So that's going to be really cool. Yeah, bro. And, you know, Thorfinn has a really tough moral dilemma here. Because from all the people he's killed, of course he has nightmares. He, he has, I guess you could call PTSD from everything that he's experienced. Um, where he's sworn himself against violence now. He's sworn himself to a life of uh, peacefulness and to anti-violence and to not to stoop as low as other people. But now he's got a tough choice because, like, like you said, Askeladd's kind of in his head, which, uh, you know, we not, it's, you know it's not Askeladd. It's more of, like, you know, his conscience, just, you know, in the form of Askeladd. Uh, but he's just, like, in his head saying, you know, You've sworn yourself against violence, yeah, and over the course of time you might be able to rebuild trust with people, uh, or to even repay the debts that are, you know, for the people you've killed, but, you know, you have a valid reason here to actually attack Snake and to defend yourself, because he's going to kill your friend. He's going to kill you if you don't move out of the way, you know, so... The moral, the, the moral dilemma is, you know, he's sworn himself, himself against violence, but 
what do you do when somebody's gonna t like try to kill your friend or try to kill someone who you care about? Um, you know, do you, if he just stands by and does nothing when he has the power to stop Snake, is that kind of like you know just letting that murder happen? Um, but at the same time, I'm sure Thorfinn's kind of feeling, you know, if I attack him and I do this violence again, am I dishonoring and lying to all the people that I've killed? Am I being dragged down by them into the ravine again? Um, so that's kind of like, I, I assume, is the moral dilemma that he's kind of facing right now. But as we saw at the end of the episode, he made his choice where he's going to attack Snake. He threw that first punch. Um, and, and, and like we discussed earlier, I think he's going to go for sort of a middle ground here, kind of like Thor's did, his father, where, yeah, you know, he's not a warrior anymore. He's not going to kill people. He's not going to, you know, kill people like he did. He's not going to add to his body count. But at the same time, you got to stand up for yourself. you got to protect your friends and the ones you care about. So I think he is going to take that Thor's approach where uh, he's going to harm them, yes, um, but he's not going to kill them. You know, like, Thor, when Thor's first met Askeladd, he, like, what was it? He It was a crew of, like, 40 people, and he took down, like, 25 of them, like, just by, like, you know, breaking a couple limbs, you know, throwing people off boats. But he didn't kill anybody, so that's kind of what I'm assuming is going to happen here. That's kind of what I'm assuming is going to um, happen to Thorfinn, if you will. So I'm really excited to see what he's going to do, if that's the kind of approach he's going to take. I'm really hoping it is. Um... Because I guess it would come all full circle now from, you know, his father. Um, you know, he's acting like he is now. He is, um, you know, fighting the way that he was. Uh, he realizes the realizations that his father had. So I'm really excited for this episode. Really excited to see what Thorfinn's going to do. And to see this fight between Thorfinn and Snake. That's right, guys. And if you guys want to see our future reactions to Villain Saga, then make sure you guys... Like it, subscribe, and also the click on the notification bell to be notified when we release those episodes. And if you guys haven't already, click the links down in the description, down below of all of our socials, and give them a follow. And also, comment down below what you guys have been thinking about Villain Saga Season 2 so far. What has been your guys' favorite part? And what do you guys think is going to happen in this episode? Obviously, don't skip to the end. Obviously, comment now before you finish the video. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, again... Thanks for all the support on Villain Saga, and without further ado, let's get into Villain Saga Season 2, Episode 17. Right, he took a swing at Thorfinn. <laughs> I will say, that's a nice looking sword that Snake's got. <laughs> I mean, I actually, you know what? I've been kind of thinking this too. You know, Thorfinn's been out of the game for a while. He hasn't fought anybody seriously in a long time. And Snake is a very skilled warrior, so. Right. This could be a very even match. Hmm. Clearly, you've never heard of Thorfinn. The Road Home. Hmm. Oh, you don't know, brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, body Ooh, shot. Nice. Dude, this is like sick. Like the, like the. Oh, what the? It looked like my man just teleported with about how fast he was. Oh. My man literally just said like nunny. Yeah, they're, they're both saying that. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? This might come back to Spherical's conversation with Snake earlier last episode where he said, you know, anybody can become a slave who's unlucky. It, you could have been. Because Snake and Thorfinn seem pretty similar. It's just, you know, they're kind of on the opposite sides here. My man got the Zoro vibe, bro. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh no, he's next to Garter. But his old man's there. <laughs> or the old man's there. His pride as a warrior went, like, 
come on. If he got, if he got, if he's got pride, he's gonna finish the fight before you know killing Garter. Right. Yeah, I kind of figure this is more about, you know, avenging his brethren. Oh, is that why they're all like, you know, all their names are like animals? Because they can't use their real names because other people know that, like, who they would be. <laughs> no, come on, man. Um. Oh, no. He's dead, isn't he? I mean, he was already severely wounded. And then with a warrior as skilled as Snake, I don't think he would miss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Dang, I, would, I really thought he would just at least finish the fight with Thorfinn before killing Garter because of his like pride as a warrior or something. Oh, uh, wait, hold up. You done goofed. Oh, dang, he got him. Wait, how is he st how is he still alive? This man was already on the brink of death and then he got stabbed in the chest. Dude, imagine dude, imagine he just like got purposely like wounded, not like wounded but stabbed there so he can do that. Oh, uh, to like fake his death. <laughs> yeah. So he can get the drop on him. Dang, is he gonna kill Snake? Oh, I really like this shot. Dang, he's gone. Oh no, yeah, that wound was fatal. It went all the way through his back. Oh, she's lying to him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it much longer. The fact he's even like be able to talk fully right now is actually impressive. The the fact that he was able to hold up Snake and subdue him was impressive. <laughs> True. Yeah, he's practically already dead. You know what? It's probably better for them to just go now before... You know, Canute and all of his men show up anyways. I mean, speaking of which, when is that going to happen? It's been a while. <laughs> For real. It's, I mean, to be fair, that it is pretty real realistic. Yeah, they are, what, a couple weeks away from sailing. So I guess, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's seeing different colors right now. Yeah, like he's under the water. Uh, it's like his old self. Yeah. It's him, yeah. Again, we, I, I remember we said this before. I wonder if that's the kid with, um, um, the discount Thorfinn. <laughs> yeah, discount Thorfinn. Yeah, that would be discount Thorfinn. 
The the Dollar Tree Thorfinn. <laughs> Dollar Tree, okay. The Kirk, Kirkland brand Thorfinn. <laughs> Kirkland, Kirkland brand. Man, we should we really shouldn't be dissing him like that. He seems like a nice kid, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just funny. The the Walmart brand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know though, because it it only seems like a couple of years, so it it might not be, you know, because this kid I don't think would be as old as that Thorfinn is right now. But he does look like him though. Does he have blonde hair? I, I can't. I can't tell. No, I think it was like brown hair. Yeah, so maybe it's not him. Oh no, it is blonde. Oh, it's it's like a dirty blonde. That's like his color though, right? Yeah, it is kind of. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rip in the chat. <laughs> Dang, they're just trying to make us feel sad, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This music in the background, the flashbacks, the and, he, and yeah. he's dead. Yeah. Uh, and he's saying when he was a slave. Oh, hold on. This might answer our question. <laughs> if this is Thorfinn. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. No, that it's not discount Thorfinn because. What is six? Yeah. No. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 We also seem to have been lost uh, in in time here. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Bro, what kind of prank is that? Jeez, what kind of prank is that? <laughs> Jeez, dude. It's not a prank, dude. It's just straight up animal abuse. Yeah, as everyone seems to want to do. Oh? Oh, has Garter come to the same realization that... Thorfinn and Thor's did now. And Einar, I guess. And is he finally gone now? Ooh. And seems like his one regret is leaving his family. Is that his old village? Ah, <laughs> oh, dang, bro. <sighs> this is sad, bro. Man, what's R9 gonna do now? She's all by herself. Oh. Um, uh, bruh. Come on, man. Let her go. Uh, uh, wow, man. All right. This episode was extremely depressing. Um, so, of course, we got the fight between Snake and Thorfinn. And I, uh, to be honest, I really thought that snake's pride as a warrior would you know make him finish the fight with thorfinn before you know going after garter but i guess it's not the case he just you know wanted to get revenge for his fallen menace as quickly as possible but yeah he stabs 
garter, and that was a fatal wound. However, uh, it wasn't fatal quickly enough, I guess you could say. Because um, garter came up, snatched him by the neck, knocked him unconscious, and uh, they were able to get away with Arnheide. However... Man, you know what? I really love this episode. This... Is it is it too much of a stretch to say this might be my favorite episode of season two? Man, I don't, I don't think know, so, man. This was a really good episode. If it's not my favorite, it's at least you know one of the top episodes because this episode just had everything. Of course, you had the action, but the main, the most important thing in this episode was the the emotion, the the heartbreak, dude, because. We went through Garter's entire life, it looked like his, well, maybe not his entire life, but, you know, um, the emotional parts. We saw him in the village with Hjalti and Arnheid, and the mistake he made, we saw him reaching out, trying to stop himself, like he was Aaron in the paths or something. <laughs> um, but, man, this, this was a heavy episode. Um, and you know what? I, I I love the heavy episodes as much as I love the the action filled ones as much as I love the comedy ones you know the you gotta have those episodes because this this episode was just phenomenal um but yeah at the end Garter he's gone now and um I don't know what Arnheide's gonna do because it, it, it seems like at the end there the uh, you know the guards showed up to take her back as a slave, which means, like, ugh. So I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what kind of punishment Thorfinn and Einar are gonna get. Hopefully it's not too much. Um, but I don't know where things are gonna go from here. You know, eventually, Canute is gonna show up. Hopefully, uh, after Ketil and, uh, Leaf and all them do, but uh, eventually Canute's gonna show up and he's gonna ravage the place you know he's gonna take over um use all the resources to uh supply his you know his kingdom his his forces and he's gonna ravage the place and i, I don't know what's gonna happen from there with thorfinn einer arnheide uh ketiel leaf uh you know old man spherical i'm assuming maybe they're gonna try to just flee and go to vinland um like einer and thorfinn were talking about the other day but Man, what, what an episode, dude. That that was. I'm I'm not gonna say it was an emotional roller coaster because the entire episode was one emotion, <laughs> and, and it was sadness. Yes. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that was a phenomenal episode. I'll say that. Um, and I'm really excited for the next one. I I just don't know what's gonna happen. <sighs> a lot of this episode, bro, towards the like halfway point towards the end, I just didn't know what to say, man. Just right. constant sadness, bro. This constant, like, just seeing Garter's past. And especially at the end, man, where he, like, saw his son, like, now six years old. And, like, seeing him again. But then, like, also seeing himself, like, as a slave. Like, getting whipped in the back. Like, what that pain was. Just everything about this episode was just, just absolute sadness. Um... But, I mean, the beginning part was really cool. We got to see Thorfinn fight for the first time legitimately um, ever since first season. I mean, we did have that one point where he, like, knocked the dude out in the, in the uh, uh, first part of, of season of season two. Um, but, yeah, man, it's getting pretty interesting. And, man, like, I just can't wait for next episode. I just want to see if, like, Leaf and them come or, like, uh, um... Or if, um, crap, why am I, uh, Canute, Canute and his men come and, uh, invade the land, the farmland. Cause you know, it's been like four or five episodes now since we haven't seen them. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm just curious on when that's going to happen. But yeah, dude, this episode was really good. And like you said, definitely up there is one of my favorite episodes just for the emotional aspect and just what everything happened. Uh, animation was good. There was the fight scene in the beginning that was good. Um, the only thing I'll leave off with is where is Einar? Because we don't know where he is. I know we know where he is, but we don't know where he ran to, like, after that scene. So we don't know where he is. But with everybody else, they're still at, uh, 
you know, the um, old man's house. And yeah, man. So this episode was good, and I can't wait for the next episode. That is right, guys. And if you want to see the rest of our Vi uh, Vinland Saga Season 2 reactions, then make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button and click that notification bell to be notified when we release more videos. And check out all the links for our social medias down below in the description. And leave a comment. What did you guys think about this episode? You know, <laughs> it was it was a hard one to sit through. Because that, dude, the emotion just hits you in the gut, dude the entire episode so uh, let us know what you guys are feeling um and we really would love to hear your guys thoughts on this episode we love to hear what you guys think um but yeah guys we are really excited for the next one because after after an episode like this we need something else <laughs> yeah. um we can't we cannot have another sad episode dude it's gonna be too much um but yeah guys we're really excited and uh i guess we'll see you in the next episode peace